Hello adventurers. Some time ago I did a video on this antenna, the Axis. I, I cut open the CB radio version, this is the phone version, and I took it off the car because it's equally as badly designed as the UHF. So I gave that one the flick, and today turned up my RFI 6.5 dB antenna. Um, this is a properly constructed and designed antenna that will give far better performance than the other one. So we're going to stick it over here on the end of the bull bar just to keep some separation from this antenna and keep it out of the line of sight. There is a, a tab here, but it's got the sand flag breakaway connector on it. So I'm going to stick it out here and I'll show you uh, the fitting of that and show you the fitting of uh, the wire going from the antenna into the cab and plugging into the hotspot. So let's uh, get on with that. I'm just going to stick a bit of wire on this because it'll make it easier to get through the grommet so it doesn't punch a hole in the grommet. I'm just going to put a little uh, smooth end on it like that and try and make the edges as minimum as possible. Then we just need to put a little right angle bend here and um, we just need to that needs to uh, go around the plug here. So let's get that sorted out. Just need to uh, bend it like that. So then we can put that around here. Needs opening up a little bit. And that's just going to help drag it through. There we go, and then we can just that there will allow me to pull it through the firewall. So that's that's done. Stick it on here. Uh, this here has a split in it, which makes it a little easier. And then you just have to do it up. I think it's a 17 mil. Okay, so that's fitted, it's nice and tight, it's got a heavy spring on the bottom. This is actually good because if you can see it's actually higher than the garage, but you can just unscrew that off when you're not using it and it just comes with a cap. And that's what I'll do because I won't, I'll only need it really when I'm out in the uh, countryside. Good design. So we're going to run We'll run the wire. We'll run run the wire through in here, and then we'll run it on the inside of this guard. And then, don't know if you can see, but down under here, there's a grommet. Down behind this fuel filter, there's a grommet that goes to the inside behind the glove box, and we'll push it through in there, and uh, and then hide it all, so you won't ever know it's there. So, let's get on with doing that. So we're just going to run the cable through here, um, that's sort of going to hold it. I just want to check with the bonnet if that's going to be okay there. And then we can just run it down the side here. So let's just, uh, we'll get this little clip back in and then uh, check that bonnet. Shovel that in there for now. I don't think that's going to make any difference to the light. It'll just lay lay there like that. So I think that's it's not getting kinked. It's movable. I think that's going to be be okay there. So now we're just going to run this behind all this uh, trim and plastic. Up under here. So 
So this is all going to be a bit interesting because it's nearly impossible to see down there. Oh, I can see it just there. So if I go... So in the end I decided to take off this oil filter from from here just to give me access into there to get to that grommet that is uh, in behind there. Don't know if you can see it in there but we'll uh, now be able to get the cables through pretty easy I think. Okay so now I'm going to go inside and uh, take out the glove box and see if I can uh, see that when I get the glove box out. The box comes out pretty easy, you just got to pop off this little side thing here and then uh, push that in and then it pops out like that and then I have to just take off this uh, bottom panel so that's just the Phillips head and that should pop off there you go plastic clips under here somewhere I should there's there it is there so there's the grommet those two big cables are there. <coughs> so up under here, there's those two big cables that I was uh, using as a guide. So up under there, I should be able to feel that bit of wire and uh, pull the rest through. So let's see if we can uh, grab that. So I ended up taking off this cover off the side just to get better access to that. Uh, you can see the cord up there and the grommet just to get better access to that cord and that grommet. So I'll pull that through and then uh, show you what I've done. So here it is, here, got it through. So that uh, that part's done. One of the secrets to pulling wires through firewalls and grommets is uh, armor oil. It basically just works like a little bit of a lubricant and it'll make pulling that through super easy and uh, sort of lubricates it and stops you pulling the grommet through and all the things that can go wrong. So I'll get that through and then um, I've got to put it, uh, gonna hide it and come out just here probably, I think. And then um, hook it up to the uh, pigtail and put all this back together. So let's uh, get all that pulled through. So now I've got to try and um, I'll put it up behind here and up behind and under here to um, to hide it so I'll have to move the camera out of the way while I do that. So I've just pulled off this cover and this cover and this is where I'll sort of hide most of the excess cable if there's any and we'll get it around there now. So I've still got to put that in but that won't take a second but this is where I've mounted it just here and the cord just goes down there and is hidden under the console and that on the Prado there's a, uh, a uh, USB there to power it and I'll see how that works powering it and that's just sitting there with a bit of uh, dual lock and um, that's, what I'll, that's how I'll mount it for now and uh, try it out there and see, uh, see how it works okay let's uh, get all this back in So there you go, there is, um, it's installed, wire through um, into the middle and it's all been uh, stuck down. So we'll give that a, uh, a try. I'll just show you the Telstra Wi-Fi calling part, which is um, one of the most important parts of this. So we'll uh, put the bonnet down and um, wire just sits in there nicely. And we'll go and take a look at the uh, Wi-Fi calling. So here I am in the car now, and we're just gonna go over this Wi-Fi calling. I've got the home phone here, and the phone there, and we're gonna hook up uh, that phone to the hotspot, 
and I'll turn off I'll turn on airplane mode and turn off the uh, cell coverage and we'll call on the Wi-Fi calling to the home phone and you can see I've got an inreach up there GPS there and a couple of radios here so let's uh, start that and uh, see if we can get a call through so first off we will um, turn off uh, I'll put on airplane mode because that turns everything off and we've just got the um, Wi-Fi icon on and up there if you have a look at that up the top there it's uh, turned to Wi-Fi call so there is no cell coverage now and it's using the hotspot so let's um, dial the home phone and see if we can get a call through so calling home and there we go it's ringing the phone so that's with no cell coverage just using a hotspot I'll hang that up and uh, that's pretty well how you can use a hotspot like a traditional phone kit and the hotspot has the antenna connected so it gets good coverage and uh, you can make a call basically using the antenna and uh, with that extra coverage so there you go and uh, hope that's helpful and uh, wait for the next one catch up